Ligma! Oh, caught you with a Ligma. Bet you didn't see that coming. <laughs> yes, we're back in this amazing game that I never get tired of. And today I wanted to showcase a ship that I found on the workshop. Actually, one of my soldiers had sent it to me. And I was planning to review it, but then I never did. But I actually really like it. It looks really cool. Really suits the Chonk army, the Chonk military. So let's check this bad boy out. This is the Chonk interlooper class heavy cruiser and fuck is it heavy it, it is i i believe it's entirely heavy armor i haven't seen one area where it's not heavy armor so this bad boy can take punishment so as you can see it's got a many many different types of weapons all throughout the ship but what is most interesting about this ship is he decided to use these specific thrusters and i believe he does this to allow this ship to move faster and be a little more maneuverable because with all of this heavy armor it would really slow down but in combination with these thrusters it allows this ship specifically to travel at surprisingly fast speeds now i love the color pattern in this he's got a lot of the vibrant yellows that i like to have with all of my chonk ships he's got the amazing blue the chonk blue got some white stripes going down the side and again the gun placement is on point like even something like this right where the airlock is just having these two guns just on this like pivotal point right here looks awesome it really gives that that like battleship or a, a attack cruiser kind of feel also paired up with these four dual cannons on each of these wings and actually if um, you remember on my tandari cruiser when i saw this ship i took inspiration i was like hey that's a great idea you know it's an easy way to put large awesome weapons onto your ship is to have just kind of them on the top and the bottom of like a little extended wing so i think it worked out perfectly but let's check out the inside of the ship and it is amazing the space in this ship is awesome so it's not actually a carrier that i'm aware of but it has all of this open space for any size any size of fighter so you could have attack gunships you could have you could probably have a small corvette if you really wanted to you could probably fit that in there I, I'm, I'm sure i could fit something in there little, little guy you got these two pads right here for small ships to kind of connect up to and then they can be like easily launched out the side and then we have this one connector here for probably some sort of 
like massive ship and i can see what he did here he tried to cover it and hide uh, the connecting tubes and i think it does a really good job of it and uh, even though you can still kind of see it, I like that little style. Like, I like how you can kind of see the exposed piping, but it's like trying to be covered, you know, just for protection when ships land. It's got these nice stripes, the caution stripes all the way around, and he's got a catwalk on the top to go from that side to the rear engine area. So when we come into the back, we can see kind of the main industrial area like where all of the, the power is the hydrogen and we've got a nice awesome looking console with the uh the console mod and i believe that's a giant reactor and that reactor looks absolutely amazing i love the way that reactor looks and the setup really gives this like like reactor room feeling like everything is like a bright yellow there's like dim orange or yellow lighting around also these mods like i love that yeah, some of the detail put onto these mods are like incredible and they look great. So let's just fly up here just to give you a top view of it. And you can just walk all the way around. And these catwalks allow you to access almost every component. Um, the, the exposed thrusters are right here. So you can come up, you can start repairing them if you're on the inside of the ship or you can get your little repair drone right here to go repair that if it gets damaged. And then if we come out here, we can walk across this nice catwalk. It's the exact same on the other side. And then we come into the main hub of the entire ship. So right here is the med bay. Now it's accessed through both sides. And then on each, on each side of the hallway, there is the airlock where these massive, beautiful guns were. So that allows other ships to dock up and then, you know, maybe get some medical supplies and heal up and just get prepared for the next battle and you have the armories in here as well which i really like i like this programmable block here just kind of adds like another like little console to the med bay now as we come and we continue we can get to this kind of main hallway area and then on each one of these sides is just uh, an exposed area i believe it's just you know to repair some stuff that's the stairway down to the main floor we come over here we got one gravity generated here and i believe these are industrial cargo containers which look absolutely amazing so this is kind of more of like a cargo room i guess you could say it's like at the front of the ship then if we come to the side we can come down the staircase go all the way to the bottom or actually here we can go all the way all the way to the bottom and we are met with the jump drive and this is the best i love having the amount of console blocks that you can have with this mod just really add to the level of detail in your ship you know it makes it turns this room into being just a blank room to now being like you know there are people be down here checking out the system settings and everything that needs to go on you know making sure nothing's overheating nothing's gonna explode and they could like, talk to the the bridge or the commander and let them know hey our fucking reactor is about to blow up or our fucking jump drive is overheating or something so gives it a little more rpg feel i like it come to the front we've got some refineries again nice console block and we can go up to the top of the refinery and then come into the crew quarters crew quarters are fairly simple and i love that you know they get their own little mess hall area they've got some lockers over here a lot of weapons a kitchen nice bathroom and toilet love that and then continues over here they got some there's two beds there and then i believe it's probably the same on the other side. oh no it's not so on the other side ah, i see so the uh, the other side is mostly beds and then this side is just a couple beds and then the kind of dining area so now if we come to here we can get to the actual control seat of the entire ship which is kind of dug into like the middle we got our nice guard right here pointing a gun right at our head that's perfect that's what we want and when this ship flies boy it fucking flies like that's that's insane oh please don't hit don't hit the chalk station it's pretty crazy i really like the color of the thrusters but um I was never one to uh, add thruster mods to my uh, ships, but for this one specifically, it it works really well. One last thing I want to show is just if we go up here, you can get to the... 
you can get to the actual bridge, which is like not where you would drive, but it just kind of allows you to get like a, a visible, you know, line of sight if you were in like a no third person server, which I don't think those exist because that would fucking suck. It'd be interesting to play, but yeah, so you can't actually control the ship from here, but this is probably like where, you know, the captain would sit and direct his crew and tell everyone where to go. Now, another thing that I totally forgot to show in the cinematic was this ship has an Atlas laser right there. So I think in order to finish this little review, we got we got to shoot that. We got to shoot that at something. All right, we got the fucking Pandarian monitor cruiser right in front of us. We're going to see what we can do to it. Oh, yeah. Watch as I miss. Oh, yeah. Oh, not a scratch. That's what I'm talking about. You don't fuck with the Tundarians. Yes. I mean, uh, uh, good, good try. Uh, Chonk Army, we'll get him next time. This bad boy's got some pretty tough shields, so uh, I'm not surprised I didn't really beat it, so. Well, that's all I really have for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And yeah, let me know what else you want to see. Um, I'm getting pretty drained of Space Engineers. Still love it, but, uh, you know, there are some other things that I want to start playing, so let me know what you'd be interested in. I say this every time, and I never follow up on it, but I swear this time, if you've made it to the end of this video, thank you, and I'll actually listen to your suggestions. I've got some Steam money from Christmas, still haven't bought anything, so, uh, yeah, let me know what I should put. Let me know if I should do a playthrough of something. Maybe you may want to see me do, like, a, a, a story-driven game. You, you want to watch me as I do, like, a Let's Play. That would be very interesting, yes. Let me know in the comments below. But that's all I have for today. And as always, stay safe, stay thick, stay chalk. My motherfucking Chonk Army. And I'll see you in the next. This has been your Lord Chonkers playing Space Engineers. Now, signing off.